In this video, I'm going to show you a levels passing concept that I absolutely love in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody, and I just wanted to let you know that if you want to get my full Trips Tight End Offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link in the description below where you can go join my Patreon membership and it gets you access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides. Now I'm in the Detroit Lions offensive playbook today. We're going to be taking a look at the Trips tight end formation. Like I said, if you want to get the full ebook, the link will be in the description to the Patreon. And um, what I wanted to talk about in this video is a real simple levels concept that will basically be able to beat every coverage in the game, regardless of their adjustments. And, um, and, and it's also really good against man. So the concept comes, like I said, out of the play drive post um, in the trip side in. I want to focus on a, actually a really different route maybe than you've uh, looked at before and show you why I like it so much. So drive post. And what we're going to do here with this concept is we're going to streak our tight end. And then what I like to do with the running back is put him on... Um, you could either block him, you could leave him on the route that he's on, um, or you could put the triangle receiver on a flat. There's a lot you could do in terms of the running back concept with this. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put triangle on a flat route. We've got this nice little under route to Mike Evans. We've got a nice post to circle. And then with the running back here, we're going to put him on a table route or a flat route whatever one you want to do so a little out route a little table route something and you're gonna see that this little underneath route is really really good at just getting separation over the uh, under over the underneath middle and I want to show it specifically against man-to-man -man first and then we'll talk about it in terms of zone in just a second so you'll see that this little underneath route is almost always going to get inside leverage and you can cut it off and aggressive catch it for about three to five yards. And what I like about this is, like I said, it's just something simple, but it really does a good job with man-to-man. -man. And a lot of people at this stage of the game, they're running a defense that looks kind of like this. They have a quarter. They have these two quarters here that are really good for defending underneath routes. That you'll see with this little in route, that man coverage really can't hang with it consistently, and a lot of times that will get separation underneath. Now, you can leave the double drags. If you want to leave the double drags, that's fine. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like real quick. So, if you leave the double drags and they're in man to man, you'll see here, I do recommend putting this guy on. So, some type of pull route. It could be the running back too. So like if you wanted to motion the running back to the right and put him on a, a streak, that's fine. Um, just something to get the verticals pulled out of the way. You'll notice that with a drag, it just going to pull the yellows inside a little bit, which is helpful. So you can use this and, and it will be fine um, against man uh, if you wanted to use it that way as well. Okay. So now I want to go over zone. So that's man coverage basically. Um, the other thing with man coverage real quick, is this post route is really good against the man. And I'll show you real quick. You'll see here that the post gets really good separation against press man. It doesn't even matter route running or anything. It's just a it's been a consistent route, madam, for as long as I've been playing, that this route has gotten separation consistently against man. Now, if they do the quarter trick where they are going to top the route and have underneath coverage on it, I'll just show you what we can do. Now, there's a couple of things we can do with the triangle receiver um, that I'm going to come back to in just a second, okay? But but anyways, here you'll see if he gets topped like this, watch this quarter, you'll notice that he actually, um, can. you can kind of aggressive catch it, but he is kind of in the area. Now, if you want to kind of cancel that out, if you will, all you have to do is take this triangle receiver, and I was talking about how we, would, we kind of want to pull out anyway, if we motion this triangle receiver to the left or motion him to the right, either way, he's going to come over here. And all we're going to do is we're just going to put him on a vertical streak. Now, what we have is a nice levels concept 
within this play. If you wanted to, you could put your tight end on an out. He's going to run shallow enough that's going to make this fine. But now those quarters really aren't going to matter. You see that this corner route does a pretty decent job of beating man. I should have aggressive caught that. Um, but the corner route will do a pretty good job. The way most people are shading their man-to-man -man right now is they're shading outside and they're shading underneath. So this also can give us this little nice route combo on the backside where it just kind of clears out some more space for that underneath route to work. So you'll see here we've got this. You see how that tight end is going to be able to beat that man-to-man -man coverage um, to the outside even if they've shaded outside and underneath. So this is a kind of a, a little bit of a, you know, a piece. So now what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to put a curl flat over on the tight end side. That's what's going to open up this middle lane um, to be able to throw our levels play. So our levels play like this to the left. And what you should see is look how much separation Mike Evans is getting consistently on that in route. And that's one of the main pieces of this play that I really like. Now, another way that you can run this real quick um, another way that you can run this is if you wanted to, you could take Johnson and put him on like a hitch or put him on a curl. Um, it's up to you which one you want to do if you want to put him on a hitch or a curl. And then you can streak the tight end and take the running back and put him on out. Now, this is a little bit more of a traditional levels concept. You could put him on a curl or a hitch. It's up to you. Um, but what you'll see with this um, is now we're going to have a real simple high low on that side and then you'll see that curl will actually pull zones and you'll be able to really hit this post and it kind of clears out just a little bit more space for it so um, that's another concept that you could do and that even I think makes it even better against man to man now the next thing that I want to show you here is cover three zone so if it's a cover three zone um, a lot of times what you want to do in cover three is you want to work your curl flat combo so if that curl flat pulls back you know that you can spin out that defender almost every single time so you could easily just throw the ball to the running back um, on that play you know and then that's going to force them to have to play you know hard flats and cloud flats um, they're not going to be able to mabel against a curl flat concept which is really really good um, especially if you motion this guy to the left you'll see when we motion to the left he's going to be in the perfect position to run this curl so you see right here um, and then you see here the curl flat will guard it okay but what you've got is you've got your running back open but the other thing that I want to show you with this that's so good is you have this streak to the tight end if they don't have yellow zones on the field and then the other thing that you have here going for you is your post so you see there my streak okay the yellows carry my streak but now I've got my post coming right down the outside right there Tom Brady threw it to the outside and up should have thrown it to the outside and away we'll show you that one more time and again it's basically the same thing right if you were to put this guy on a streak and then you were to take the tight end and block him that's another way that you could run this and then you could have an out route to the running back and now you've got even more of that spacing concept kind of built into play so there's a couple different ways that you could run the levels i love this play i think it's probably one of the better plays in the game that nobody calls um, but as you can see there, I'm getting into a real sweet spot against z the zone coverage. So that's cover three. Cover three probably defends this honestly the best. Cover two is really not that good against this. So if they run cover two, um, the other thing that you're doing is you're high-lowing the yellow zones on the field. So the streak and the post and the curl, all those things are designed to pull you can also table route this running back by the way but they're all designed to pull these yellows back so i can i could throw that right in that little area should have thrown it a little bit earlier a little bit crisper but if i see these yellows pull back at the snap of the ball it's a little bit of a read here but if i see the yellows come back then i know that i can throw the in route just like that so you see how the yellows kind of pull back, suction to the post route, which they will do in this play, and then I can throw that ball. I'll show you that against cover three real quick as well. And again, this is going to, I mean, yeah, if they run, there's certain matches that they can run, but if they run the traditional way most people like to match this, they're not going to have success. And notice how I can just easily throw that over and over again. So what that forces people to do is in their cover two defense, they have to shade their coverage down to be able to defend this. And what you'll see is when they have to shade their coverage down, 
my post becomes wide open. And they pretty much have to zone drop to stop that post. That post is going to go about 25 to 30 yards down the field. Um, you know, even if they don't zone drop, which I'll show that real quick. A lot of times what's going to happen here, you'll see this cloud is really not going to get there. Okay. So you can kind of throw that through the zones. And so they're going to have to have 25 yard zone drops to guard that. But the problem is, and this is what I wanted to get at. Let's say they do. So I'm going to jump back out and grab some zone drops for you. So let's say they do have that. Let's say they have 30 or 25, five and five. Okay. That's very common. Most people want to run that that type of zone drop. This is where this curl flat concept becomes very helpful in the defense. So if I go to run a double Mabel, like so, you'll see here that my curl is wide open. So that is kind of the chess match. And the other thing that I wanted to say too about this is if they double flat a lot of times what you'll see with this so this is a double flat flatted defense i want you to watch the right side of the screen a lot of times what you'll see is this in route because of the specific specific type of in route that it is watch the curl flat he'll carry it a little bit but there's a window that i can hit it right in that little pocket and that's another thing that you have. So you have a couple different things. And then the last thing that I wanted to say about this curl or this post is this post is really, really good against double Mabel defenses. And the reason why it's so good against double Mabel defenses is because most people think that their Mabel coverage will defend it and it doesn't always stop it. Um, so you'll see right here, if I run my concept, you're gonna see this post is gonna kinda come underneath and there it was a little bit bad example, but a lot of times it can kind of come underneath or you can throw it a little bit before it gets there. Um, you know, So this post is really an effective concept. It's an effective route that you can utilize. If you wanted to run it like this or even like this, for example, this can be very effective against man. It can be also very effective against zone, but you just see how good and how consistent that post route is against both main coverage and zone coverage. It's gonna force them to have to drop some zones there, and then you're gonna be able to hit all of your other stuff on this play. Thanks for watching the video. If you wanna learn the rest of the Trips Tied In offense, I'm gonna put a link in the description below to my Patreon membership. By joining the membership, you'll get access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides, and including my Trips Tied In. So if you wanna check that out, that'll be linked down in the description. It's only $10 to sign up for it. And if you want to sign up, just go down to the description, click the link that I put down there, and it'll take you right over and you can get signed up for the membership.